Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. After 19 years, says Shino Peters asked Fumi Martin's child for a DNA test to prove he's truly his son. Sashina Peters and Fumi Martins, who was a popular Yoruba actress, were an item before the unfortunate passing of Fumi Martins. Fumi Martins left behind a 40 day old boy, Dem Larry, before she passed him. And it was shocking to hear that both Sashina Peters, who is the father of the child, and Midin Martins, who is a popular Yoruba actress, were accused to have abandoned this boy. And I made some doubts. The late Fumi Martin's son, Dam Larry himself, finally granted interview and said that he was indeed abandoned by Midi Martins and also noted that they had not seen each other for the past six years. And the blogger that carried the story accused Midi of blocking the boy on WhatsApp to avoid answering his calls in order to break their communication. The boy also stated in an interview that he had not seen her in six years. The last time they saw was at their grandmother's burial. She does not send him money. He finished SSE last year and is trying to get admission into the university, but he needs financial help. So Gist Lover's fans decided to contribute some money for this boy. However, his father, Sashino Peters, came out to address the public on this issue just some hours ago. And this was what he said. I'm no longer a kid. I'm now over 60. I'm using this opportunity to say thank you to everyone who showed love to me during this period. People will judge me without hearing my side of the story. I say thank you to you too. What happened is that there is a lot to say and we are all adults. How can I abandon my child? How much would it cost me? I've taken care of many children. So how come it is damn Larry that I didn't take care of? It has a reason and I'm not going to say it. I want everyone to know that myself and Dam Larry have been talking for three days now. Myself and Baba Deji, Dam Larry's uncle, are supposed to meet tomorrow. Everything a parent is supposed to do for a child, I'm telling you all that. I want to disappoint any of you. I have taken care of millionaires and billionaires. I only want to beg everyone to not turn him into a beggar. Why would they be contributing money for someone who has lots of people to take care of him? Please, for his future's sake, don't do that. There are lots of reasons behind why I didn't do this before. But now, I will take care of him and do my best. He has done jump one or two times from what I have heard and I know God will help me to take care of him and I will take care of him and send him to the university. We will all meet tomorrow. The day they said he came to my house, the person who brought him said that it was his elder brother Tunde Martins that brought him here. I was the one that trained Tunde Martins and Mide Martins. So why didn't I take care of him? I'm not going to say all what happened in the past because of his future. But now, I'm going to take care of Dam Larry to the highest level. However, just lovers who posted this same video alleged that Sashino Peters is asking now for DNA tests. This was exactly what just lovers reported. Sashino Peters, talk straight to, know the court corners. Let us know where to direct the tone to. Information which means that you are requesting a DNA. Something where you know request sense. You reach your sensibility now. Baba want the dodge. You say make we no contribute for her. Say the boy you know be beggar. Then take up your responsibility, sir. You born, you bow wow. Before now, Gist Lovers reported that they have the boy's number and they needed three representatives from Gist Lovers Nation to take up the funds that they are about to contribute for him. As they want the money to get to him directly, money is evil, so things can change. They planned on sending representatives to his house in Songu first and they asked that if anyone was interested in taking up being their representative for Dan Miller repeaters, the person should reach out to them. Once they go ahead and organize funds for Dan Larry. But then Sashino Peters has come out and said he does not want people to contribute money for him since he's not a beggar because of his future. And Gist Lovers also reported that the news reaching to them is that Sessional Peters is now asking for DNA tests. Nigerians are reacting to this in different ways. They are saying that Sessional Peters previously abandoned Clarence, Clarence Peters, the son of Clarence Chikura, until he became a celebrity and Sessino Peters started claiming him. However, he did not request a DNA test. And some others are alleging that because Fumi Martins is late, that is why he's saying all those things that he's saying. And people are also saying, please don't stop the donation. They don't trust Sessino Peters, even with the way he's talking. Who is Fumi Martins, the mother of Damilari and Midi Martins? Fumi Martins was a popular Yoruba movie star who left in the year 2002. She was born in 1963 in Ilesha, Ocean State, as Fumi Ubuntu, 
and spent her early life in Lagos and Ibadan. For primary and secondary school education, the deceased attended Okiono Primary and Grammar School in Abiokuta. From there, she went off to Bepo Secretarial Institute where she bagged a diploma in secretarial studies. Thereafter, she did some modeling jobs before veering into acting. It was in the year 1993 that she stayed in her first movie called Nemesis, directed by Fedelis Duka. During her rather short-sleeved career, the late Tony Martins managed to star in dozens of movies. Some of her most notable works include Atomic, Belumi, Jamode, Ereleru, and so many others. The late Tony Martins' first regular movie was done under the tutelage of the veteran actor Aldebayo Salami, popularly known as Ogabilu. However, two weeks before she sadly passed and she was on a location in Ikurudu, Lagos State, working on Antalanian's movie, Aduri Teolua. She was described as one of the few actresses at that time who could act in both Yoruba and English movies flawlessly with so much professionalism. Mire Martins herself was just 23 years old when she sadly lost her mother and it was because she lost her mother that she joined the movie industry. According to her, this job is something I never thought I could do until my mom died and I thought I should take it up so that the name Martins will continue to be on fans lips and she has even confessed in several interviews that at that time there was no one around but only a Fizowo that she could look up to finally they got married though her career was cut short very early Fumi Martins left a legacy and a lasting impression in the industry and has stamped her name in the consciousness of fans and colleagues. It was reported that two months before that she had given birth to her child and the last child today for Afro Juju singer Sessino Peters. This music icon was said to be present at the naming ceremony of Dominari while his band entertained the guests. She was said to have changed her name to Fumi Peters at the event. Her three children were also reportedly named after Peters. And this her last child was named Akwambi Ayomipo Damilari Peters. The love she shared with Sessino Peters was so strong they reported that she left her former residence at 308 Agege Motor Road in Challenge Bus Stop in Moshe for Ijushaga where she could be closer to her lover. So people were indeed shocked to hear the tale of the late Fumi Martin's son she left behind where they alleged that he had been abandoned by Sessino Peters and Midi Martins. We have come to the end of this episode where it has been revealed that Sessional Peters is asking the late Femi Martin's child for a DNA test to prove that he's truly his son. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.